I have been looking into making a custom keyboard recently from watching multiple YouTube videos and I was wondering if I can make it myself. Unfortunately, most custom keyboard videos on YouTube is just an assembly video. Most of them are just using pre-built case, PCB, switches, and keycaps, which kind of defeats the definition of custom. So I asked myself, can I make a keyboard just for myself that no one in the world will have? Probably not. But I can make my keyboard as unique as I can. Out of all the components, what do you think we can custom to make it unique? There's no reason to build a custom PCB or even switches since there are so many good options out there that's probably going to fit your preference, whether it's clicky, tactile, or linear. And since I'm an anime otaku, that's the old word for whip for all of you zoomer out there, I was hoping to make my waifu team keyboard. I saw Taihata video where he put a sticker on the bottom of the case, but for me, that's kinda pointless since most of the time the bottom of the case will be, well, at the bottom. I can probably try to custom paint my case to fit my character color and put stickers on the side, but since I live in an apartment, I cannot do spray paint for my cases. That leaves keycaps as our option to customize our custom keyboard. I was looking around for a reference if my idea was possible, and the two closest reference that I was able to find was Ahegao keycaps and a color team keyboard for your favorite character, or a cheap rebuilt keyboard with anime picture printed on it. That is until I found this picture on WSD keyboard. That pumped me up. So it is possible to print a picture into a keycaps, I thought. So I immediately looked for a store that will let me do it and I found Max Keyboard, which I later found out that WSD keyboard actually provides the same service as Max Keyboard, but for the sake of this video, we are using Max Keyboard as the custom keycap provider. Okay, enough with the intro. Let me show you the parts that I got. For PCB, I think I got like DZ20 or DZ20. Uh, I don't know much about PCB, so I just got a random like 60% keyboard. If anybody know what the difference between each PCB, let me know in the comment below. And for the plate, and for the plate, I got a brass plate. I watched Christopher Yi video, and that, in that video, he told me that. The brass plate has the best sounding. However, if you want something with a really nice sound, I highly recommend you get brass. I've never tried other plate before. I just goes based on what other people are recommending. So maybe in the future, I'll try other plate and see how it goes. For the case, I got tofu acrylic. So I kind of saw this case from Mendo's video on Twitch. And it looks amazing. I mean, how can you not, right? If you saw his video, the RGB all light up on all the cases. It looks amazing. For the switches, I got a Duroc linear switches. I chose this switch. I like linear switches. I've been using linear switch for a while. So I, I chose the linear switch. Uh, I didn't know like which one is the best one. So I tried the Duroc first. Maybe in the future, I'll try different switches, see what I got, uh, what is best for me and we'll go from there but for now i'm using a duroc linear switches for stabilizer i use the gmk screw in stabilizer thank you for christopher Yi about telling about screw in stabilizer because if he didn't show it on the video i'll probably buy the snap in stabilizer so thank you christopher Yi. and of course i'll be looping the stabilizer and switches with oh wait hold on and of course i'll be looping the stabilizer and switches with Crytex 205G0 This is the loop that I got from Divinity Key And I'll be looping every single switches and stabilizer with this And for the keycaps, I got this keycap custom made on Max Keyboard Maybe you guys saw it in the thumbnail video But it looks amazing I was going to give you guys a model of me building my keyboard for 7 hours So I'll just have to give you a summary of it since I learned some stuff that I couldn't find in any YouTube videos while I was doing it First thing that I learned is if you guys bought a KBD fans stabilizer sticker you can use a tweezer rather than using your finger like what I did to peel it to make it your life much easier. Maybe instead of my finger, I should use uh, wrong something. You have pincer or something? Yeah, I got one. Yeah, I, I completely forgot I got one. So I'll be using that in the future. You live and you learn. Using pincet is so much better. Look at that. 
Perfect application. Look at that. Perfect, my friend. Perfect. Second lesson that I learned since no one was talking about this is for screw and stabilizer, you only need to screw the flat side. No need to do it on both sides. Oh wait, do I need to screw this one as well or not? Does this matter? I don't think so. Wait, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because there's already a clip, right? So you don't need... You don't need to screw this one in. Okay. Third one, this is a general lesson, but I've never learned how stabilizer actually works. First thing that I noticed was that key switches are supposed to be higher than a stabilizer when in neutral position. Fuck, should the key cap be higher? Like this thing is higher than the other one. Could it be like that? Wait, the key cap is massively higher. Huh. I never noticed that. Four. Don't put all the switches at the plate at once. Do one row so you can align all the holes on the slot in the PCB first. Salah, 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 salah. Harusnya satu row, satu row. Ah. Fifth. If your PCB supports multiple layouts, always test the keycaps on the bottom row and the second bottom row to make sure you're putting the switches in the correct slot. I have noticed for a normal layout, I had to put the switches away from the spacebar. Should I check the keycap? I think I should check the keycap just in case. I don't want to be putting on the wrong slot, especially the spacebar. Oh no, it's not. It doesn't fit. Fuck, it doesn't fit. Oh shit, shit, shit. Oh shit, fuck! There you go. What is wrong with stabilizer? So yeah, just a tip. Make sure to test your stabilizer before putting your switches. To test it, you can use a tweezer and try pulling the stem up. If it goes up, then you're good. So as you can see here, the stem goes outside. Like outside, goes inside, and then outside. And the problem with my stabilizer is, this doesn't go up. Oh wait, it does. Okay, yeah, this stabilizer doesn't go up. It's stuck. That's why the stabilizer doesn't spring outside. There's a square here, and there's a hole on the stabilizer. While there's no hole over here, so if you like uh, flip it, you won't be able to go up. Another tip for newbie: make sure to buy or loop more switches than you need, just in case if you broke or lose some. Hold on, why am I missing a lot of switches? One, two, three. I'm missing three. I didn't buy a fume extractor because I thought it's going to be a really fast soldering. But even soldering one to three switches, the smoke is really annoying. So if you are planning to buy a solder PCB, go buy one. You can get it for 30 to 40 Canadian dollar on Amazon. Don't know why no one is talking about this. So apparently normally you need a fume extractor when you do this shit, but I don't have it. I don't think you need a fume extractor if you only like solder for like 30 minutes, right? Hopefully it's only going to be 30 minutes. I don't actually know how much going it's going to be, how long it's going to be. Yeah, actually it's a fair little bit of smoke there. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. I didn't think it would be that much smoke, but I guess it's a lot. Focus. Eh? Not bad, I think. Not focusing. But I don't think it's that bad. I think it's pretty clean. I don't know how to change the focus here. There we go, maybe this one. Damn it, it's not focusing. There we go. Once soldering is done, all you need is to test all the switches and assemble everything. 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so good so far. Tech space. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, okay. Thank you. What? Shift? Oh, there you go. Shift is working. It's is working. Okay. Enter. Wait, what? Enter is working. Get up. Windows. Control. Spacebar. All working! Yo, let's go, guys! Woo! Everything is working properly. Let's go! Yo, that's hype. That's hype as fuck. I'm glad my screw is magnet. If not, I would lost one screw there. Bro, this one is hard. So now all we gotta do is put in the keycaps and we are done. Look at that. Fucking case, man. That fucking case is so beautiful. By the way, this is a puzzle because if you can see, the keycap doesn't have any letter. Which means I need to put it on by, by picture. So this is like a jigsaw puzzle. Hey, there you go! Wow, way to ruin every, everyone's day, Fana. I'm sorry, dude! There you go! My waifu keyboard! With a fucking RGB. Let's go! Look at that. Look at the beautiful keycaps, man. My experience building this has been amazing. It seems like most of you guys are really excited during the stream. So I'll probably be doing more of it. For the first time building, I won't say I did a bad job. It took me 7 hours since I'm learning as I go. So the next build will probably take me 5 to 6 hours. Or maybe less. So for Duro Cleaner switches with Crytox G205 to create 0 impression. I think this is the most silent and smooth switch I have touched. Now I understand why people are looping their switches, it felt amazing. However, I learned that the reason why these switches are so silent is because they added rubber under the switch stem. It's because the machine is like pressing down a rubber dome. If you like silent for playing games or typing, I would recommend this switch, but I don't really like the rubber feel when I type. With that out of the way, now for the sound test. I think you guys can hear it, so I'll put a side-by-side -side comparison. are you using it is my waifu character okay so hear me out okay waifu term is for one of your single most loved character out of all the series okay if people keep switching waifu it's not called waifu it's called best girl 
fuck those guys who called like every girl a waifu. But yes, I only have one waifu in my life and I never changed for like 13 years. And that's Athena. Athena. Athena Tenosu. Here, let me show you the picture. Bro. I mean, my salary is pretty high. She's so cute. God damn. Oh, so none of them are labeled? Yep, no label. Everything is just a picture. It's like, let's be honest here. Do you look at your keyboard while you type? Ew, what are you, a boomer? <laughs> oh yeah, 5 times 6 is 30. It's not fucking 60. I'm, my math. Holy shit, and you call me an Asian. <laughs>